morning um the house is just starting to come alive it's a bit noisy behind me i do apologize so um today is the last day of uh, pom-poms and we are making penguins today. Uh, I have a very good friend who loves penguins, uh, Emma. Hi Emma! Uh, so I thought I would make a penguin to make her happy. Um, she's happy anyhow but to make her happier. Uh, or if it goes horribly wrong, maybe not so happy. Anyhow, so um, I have pre-wound, and I've actually already snipped this one, um, my pom-pom makers. So don't forget you can use your bits of card if you want to. So we're using two today, so I would say your fork and your piece of card. Okay, so go back to your how to make pom-poms three ways if you've missed that one. Um, I'm using my pom-pom makers just because I love my pom-pom makers. Uh, so I have done, I would say, three quarters black and a quarter white. And the same on this one. Okay, so um, only because if you look at a penguin, actually only at probably about a third of its body. So if you wanted to get really, really picky, you could make it a third and two thirds. And there's my numeracy for the day. I'm done. Okay, right. Tilting you down so you can watch what I'm doing. So I've already done this one, tied it off. I've made sure that I've left my string longer so that I can tie the two of them together. So I'm going to open it up. I love these diddy pom-poms. There's just something about working at this scale which makes me very, very happy. Oh, until I do that. Um. Oh. There it is. Right, so that's going to be his face. Oh, give him a bit of a trim. Um, his face and head. Okay. So let's move on to the body. These are lovely as sensory toys for older children, obviously, not for young ones, because they can pull the bits of wool out and choke on them. But really, really nice, and especially if you get some, you can get some really nice soft walls and stuff. Um, and they're really good. We played a game once um, at our Christmas fair, where we um, we had a board with holes cut in it, and we painted it to look like snowmen with their mouths open. And then we made giant white pom poms that you could throw through. Um, through the mouth of the snowmen so it's like they were eating snowballs it's just really good fun and because they're so soft nobody got hurt when they were being thrown around it's great so oh oh I have a very excited little boy who's shouting because the tooth fairy has been the tooth fairy forgot to come over my nest right so there we go I have my penguin and I'm now going to tie my head and my body together just so that I can then start to add things like the face, the, yeah, well the eyes, the beak and the feet. So you can if you want to get really really complicated and add things like bow ties. I'm just going to keep it quite simple for today. Um, oh, more things than thumbs. It's because so early in the morning. I'm making this video at about half past six in the morning, which isn't really, really early, but it's early enough for me. So, I have made some little feet, and I'm just going to pop my double sided sticky tape. Again, you can use glue on the bottom and I'm going to stick them towards the front so you can actually see them. Now you could actually make bigger feet which would probably work a bit better but they work just as well. And then I've made a little beak which is just like a diamond and I've folded it in half and that again double sided sticky tape and just pop that in place. Um, there we go. And you could actually, if you wanted to, make um, a little egg out of, I don't know, a piece of plasticine. Because um, penguins, I believe, when they have their um, their eggs, they carry them round on their feet to keep them off the ice. So, um, yeah, useless piece of information there for you. And I'm just going to stick the eyes on. And then we are done. Here is your pom-pom penguin. I think he's quite cute. 
Right. See you tomorrow for a grown-up one. Bye.